Okay, so this is video number three in the normal distribution stuff, and it's, it's the third of six, okay? So, we've got our question. Remember, it said that the mean is 42,000 hours. The standard deviation is 7,000 hours. Find the probability that a hard drive selected at random fails before 30,000 hours. Which all seems very, very complicated, but isn't. The first clue is it told you it's normally distributed. And your instinct needs to be that when it says normally distributed, the first thing you do is you draw the picture. That's what a normal distribution looks like. Okay? The next thing it told us, it told us in the question right here, that there's a mean of 42,000 hours. So the mean, this little dotty line, this time is not zero. Previously it's been zero. Now it's 42,000. Okay? And I think it said the standard deviation was seven. I'm just going to check that. It said, yes it was. The standard deviation is 7,000 hours. Okay? Which means I can now write up here that sigma is 7,000. And the question asked, what's the probability that it fails before 30,000, wasn't it? That's what it said. So I'm going to put a little dotted line down here saying 30,000. Okay? And it said before 30,000. So I'm going to colour in my section here. So that's what I'm trying to work out. Does that all make sense? Yes? Okay. Can I work this bit out? No. But can I work this bit out? Well, technically, actually, no, I can't, but we'll come to that in a minute. What I can work out is this bit. This is the bit I can work out, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm going to show you this in a, in a strange way. That is the one I can work out. Now, are we okay with the fact that this is symmetrical? So the answer for this one will be exactly the same as the answer for this one. So this one and this one will be the same answer because it's symmetrical. Okay, so I need to know. Yeah. How can you even work out one side and not the other? Um, because the table only gives you one side. Okay, I'm going to show you that in a second. Though, if that's right. it's a good question. So here we go. I'm going to use my formula. Do you remember my formula? I need a z number because my table has only got z numbers in it. What's the formula for z numbers? X minus mu over sigma. Okay, what's x? 30,000, isn't it? So that equals 30,000 minus 42,000 divided by 7,000. At this point I get my calculator out and I type in exactly that set of numbers. So 30,000 take away 42,000. Okay, be careful. If I write divided by right now, it'll be wrong. Okay, so I'm going to have to press execute. Yep. Now divide that by 7,000, and I get an answer that says negative 1.71428571. And I've written the whole thing down. Now, this answers the question I was asked earlier, which is why can't it work out this side? Why can it only work out that side? Because that's my Z number, isn't it? And now what I'm going to do is going to look that up on my table to find out what that answer is. But when I look at my table, so I'm looking for the Z number, negative 1.7. How many negative numbers can you see? None. So we can't look up negative 1.7. So what are we going to look up instead then? We're going to look up 1.7. Because negative 1.7 is this side. But the table doesn't give me this side. Let's put that down a little bit. The table doesn't give me this side. That's just, this is the bit I want here. It only gives me that. So instead of looking up negative 1.714, I'm going to have to look up positive 1.714. And remember that it's symmetrical, so the answer is going to be the same. Is that okay? Okay, people are nodding. Good. All right, so 1.714. So here is 1.7, right? So that's 
So that's 1.71. Okay, so 1.71 is 4564. So that's a pretty good guess. If I'm going to do decimal places, we're looking at 4564. However, it said 174, didn't it? 1.714. So 1.71. And now I go over here where it says 4. I come all the way down to the same line. So where it says 4. And there's an extra 3. Now that 3 is actually added on to the final digit. So it's 1.714 gives me 0 0.4564 plus 3, 0.4567, because I've added 3 to that last digit, and that's the adjustment, and that's as close as I can get, so 4567, so that equals 0 0.4567, okay, and I've looked that up, so the probability of getting that Z number is that, now remember that that was for that bit, so this bit's definitely 4567, which means that this bit is also 4567. Is that okay? So we know that that's 0 0.4567. So we know that this bit's 0 0.4567. And can you see how much less complicated this all became because we drew the picture? Because you can label the picture up really easily now. So if I know that that's that, how big is that? Well, that's half of it, so that's 0 0.5, isn't it? So I can say my answer is going to be 0 0.5 take away 0 0.4567 and I can get my calculator out nice and happily and just work that out 0 0.5 take away 0 0.45 oops 4567 is 0 0.0433 0 0.0433 okay and that is the probability of finding a hard drive that fails before 30,000 hours. That's the answer to the question. And I've done the whole lot in one go. Okay. Now that's an achieved question. Is it stopped?